it's Nolan North. It's Retro Replay. We're back in the basement. Uh, I'm looking forward to today. This is this is a uh, this is kind of this is big Zelda and Michelle Morrow. Wow. I mean, I mean that's, that's that, we've that's, hit the triforce fecta. That's two things. Okay. Tri is three. Yeah, I know. This is single. Uh, that's for Drew. Yep. It's time for some topics and tangents yeah. with me and Drew and the gang. This was interesting. I had not seen this. Locks of George and Martha Washington's hair are among a trove of nearly 300 presidential artifacts hitting the auction block. Clippings of the hair were passed down through the grandniece's family and include documentation. <laughs> One of them looks a little curly, yeah. if you know what I mean. And I, if it's Martha's, I'm in. I want, I don't know why. <laughs> I want some you want historical. <laughs> uh, but, but I don't know. Like he doesn't have his doesn't have his hippopotamus teeth. It's just like yeah. It's like how did they find that? They, I don't like oh it's out know. of her hairbrush. It's like that's not for her hair. It's not her head. Because <laughs> you know they used to shave their pubic hair because lice was prevalent. Oh wow. So they all had uh, that's that's actually where uh, the the the, the merkin. It's not a joke. The Merkin is a uh, wig for the hoo-ha. And uh, it's not how it's marketed, but... <laughs> Do you need a wig for your hoo-ha? Come down to Simon Cancelman's Mer Merkin store. We have all kinds of Merkins for, you, for your vagina. And, and you can... Uh, red, brown, brunette, blonde. And blonde. <laughs> Dirty blonde too, for you. Come down, look a cow. <laughs> Simon Cancelman's Merkin store. S slashing prices <laughs> on the mer. Do you have lice, pu uh, pu uh, crabs, or any type of pubic? Just come down to Simon. Uh, we're slashing with Simon Cancelman's the. Uh, American store and buy a, 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 a pussy wig. <laughs> Sorry. There's the cow again. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's play a game. We got Zelda today. 35th anniversary, right? 35 years, man. Yeah. Incredible. <clears throat> what a legacy. Well, let's take a look uh, at some gameplay. You're going to be Link. You're going to save the princess. There's a princess? I mean, yeah. All right, here we go. I remember when I bought this game, and it was really special because it came in a gold cartridge. Oh, you mean kind of like this one, Drew? Yeah. Man. Look at this, guys. For all you Zelda freaks, fans, crazies, original Zelda. Yeah. In the gold box. Not to be outdone. The sequel. Mm hmm Link goes in this one. And if this one's out, this is called The Missing Link. <laughs> That's the shittiest joke I've ever done. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna get them through the hedgerows. See that? That's what you do. You get them through the hedgerows. That's what you do. Oh, some of that little bastard. Get them through the hedgerows right there. It just took a lot in the chin there. <laughs> oh, but now they're on the wrong side. I wanted the heart. God damn it. Oh, no. They're like, hey, Henry, did you see them flying swords through the bushes? Which one? I don't want in my neck. Oh, it's a fairy! Yeah. Shit! She gives you full health. Oh, I love that. Of course yeah. she does. Kind of sexy. I'm not gonna lie. Is that weird that I said that? Oh, Randomly drop bombs? I didn't mean to hit the B button. Oh, you oh, did that. Shit. Hey, what's up, Foxy? Oh my god, they got like little boomerangs. They're like little Australian dudes. We got it! Let's go! You got it, Johnny. You got it, Johnny. Don't worry about it, Johnny. You got it, Johnny. I believe in you, Johnny. Now get in there, go to the far wall, duck and evade, shoot. Nice, dude. Oh, just in time. Get that heart. Now what? Dude, look at, you got a, you're gonna get a piece of the Triforce? Dude. Oh my God, I feel so, I'm so excited right now. Yeah. I think, that's enough gameplay for me today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Michelle Morrow. Michelle, thank you for joining us. How are you? 
I'm good. Thanks for having me, Nolan. Are you kidding? No, this is great. I'm fascinated by the esports tournaments. I mean, like, I, I, when did you get yeah. into that? I got into it. I hosted BlizzCon for the first time in 2014. Uh, the year after that, um, they asked me to do the ESPN tournament, Heroes of the Dorm. It was on ESPN2, and it was the first time right. that esports was broadcast on like a major American network. So it was kind of like a, a hype, no pressure, no pressure to get up there and, you know, and announce it to the world. It was exciting. It was a lot of fun. I thought, I thought they did a good job about localizing it and making it about colleges, getting people to have a reason to sort of cheer for a team. Um, and that model was um, replicated quite a bit by, um, by others as well. So I think it went really well. Um, and from there, I just... I started to do esports news for Bleacher Report, so I was doing like daily right. esports news for them, um, and then Turner, uh, you know, continue under the Turner umbrella. I did like E League um, on TBS, so I did like yep. uh, you know Street Fighter Five and Tekken, which was like such a cool tournament. Tekken was my favorite. Hello and welcome everyone to the big program today. Drusephine J. Drusif, we don't know if it's his real name, a pseudonym or not, uh, is going to be taking on the role of Link in The Legend of Zelda. As always, my co-host, uh, Michelle Moore. Michelle, what are the, uh, the young man's chances of getting through this level? Thank you, Nolan. I, I appreciate uh, you giving us that intro here and leading us in. We've got Link right now. He's He's got four hearts, four lives available at this moment. I don't know what his chances are. It really depends on his gameplay style. Now, right four now, hearts. Like, Let me ask you something, Michelle. Four hearts. Is that like a cow has four stomachs? I mean, it, you know, maybe. Maybe. It depends on the player. I'm not sure if Drew V. Drusif really has that kind of... A versatility at, at this point in his in his career. I don't know if he'll be able to get through this course. He only has half a heart, which is not much of a cow stomach. Well, you know what? Uh, when you have half a heart on, nothing good ever seems to happen. <laughs> yes. Half a heart <laughs> on is not very good. No. Uh, you know, you some people would say uh, Link is uh, uh, looking a little limp at this moment. <laughs> Uh, his sword is uh, not at full attention, and he's in trouble. And down, yes, down goes like, Link. There he goes. Oh, no. All right. Will he continue? Will he save? It looks like he will continue and try again to live another day. But How do I? Uses I it's amazing that, that, you know, it seems like every broadcast, it always ends up, you know, with genital talk. I don't know <laughs> what it is. Today's broadcast is brought to you by Yankee Candle. <laughs> I don't, this, you know what? I'm never going to get this gig. <laughs> never going to be in an outfit. It's not, not your uh, thing. I have nothing. I just, this is more fun, by the way, doing this with Michelle, just busting on you, because I'm usually the one everybody's shitting on. And here we are creating our own. How little, the tables have turned. This, yes. How the turntables have turned, my friend. Crazy man. <laughs> Drew, you died. I'm struggling, guys. You're done. I can't get the sword. I, I'm not worthy of it, uh, apparently. Drew. You're done. I'm sorry. Done. Thank you for your competition, Drew. We appreciate your entry in this tournament, <laughs> I know. though. I've, Unfortunately, I've, you have been disqualified. I've All let right. so many people down. Thank you so much for being on, making this show far better than it ever has been <laughs> with just me, with me. me and Drew. Hi, right, Michelle. <laughs> thanks. Bye. Uh, as always, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Uh, like us, do all that good stuff that yeah. the YouTube... Like or subscribe to the button below or above me. I don't know where it is. Um, we appreciate your support. This channel's run on your support. So um, help us out. Get yourself up on the bar. If you join, you can get a you know personalized shout-out from me. Anything you want. Yeah. You want, you know, Al Pacino chewing gum. Oh, there's nothing in my mouth. Anything you want. I'll, I'll spit on a birthday cake. I don't care. Uh, but we thank you so much. As always, we will see you next week on Retro Reply.